What's going on guys, Ventric here, and welcome to my new series, Free For All Chem Strike Tutorial, where I'm going to try and teach you the safest and most efficient way to get yourself a Chem Strike in Free For All. First off, let's start out with the map. We're on freight in this case, and uh, the area marked in red is the area that you want to stick to, you want to hold. The key is to hold an area that has high traffic and that you can hold and uh, just feel safe. And uh, now that you know the area we're going to stick to for freight, let's go on to the weapon I'm going to use here. What I'm going to use here is the Honey Badger. There's going to be some short and some mid-range engagements. We want the Honey Badger. I use Extended Mags and Grip. And then for my perks, I use Ready Up, Stalker, Quick Draw, Amplify, and Dead Silence. For, this, um, for the Strike Package, I'm using Specialist, Scavenger, ICU, Hardline, Gambler, Ping, and Deadeye. Now that you know what we're going to be using uh, to try and get this Chem Strike, folks, let's get right into the game, and uh, here we go. All right, we got a good spawn here. This, we're in the area we want to be in. There's a guy who's going to spawn right in front of us. So as soon as we start in, let's just pick him off. That's another thing. Know your spawns. If you know where they can spawn, you know where not to have your back to. Another guy would have spawned in that area to the right over there. You saw he ran through here. We'll take him out. We're going to move into this small building. Catch a guy. There is a spawn over there in the corner behind those uh, those crates over there. So you got to watch for that. Another spawn up top there. She saw he was coming through. I saw him. He did not see me. He's a sitting duck. Now that I've got a couple kills downstairs, we're just going to keep it to the upstairs. I stay away from these windows. I don't know what I was thinking, but you can get picked off from across the map, and that'll that'll ruin your day real quick. Oh, that could have that could have got messy. And look, that's why I've got extended mags. I used 35 of my 45 bullets there because that was one of those oh crap moments, and I just prayed and sprayed and. It worked out for me there. Going to be a little bit cautious because I hear footsteps everywhere right now. That's another thing. Got to use your ears, folks. A big portion of this game is your ears. You got to use them. I heard footsteps coming from all directions, so I was a little bit more cautious there. Got my ICU going on now. That'll help heal me up so I can get ready for my next gunfight that much quicker. When you run through here, guys, always be careful. There's two long lines of sight. But as I said, the, the key here is you do not want to stay in the same place because um, in free-for-all, the game goes to 30. And with hardline, I need 24 kills. Now, if I'm 23-0 and 0 and another guy gets to 30, I failed. I didn't get my cam. I was one kill off. I lose the game. So you got to be able to get enough traffic to get yourself your 24 kills. And the key to that is uh, to not be predictable. This guy knows where I am. I was starting to get predictable. So I kind of get into a position of power here. It's always better to be the one being chased than to be the one chasing. Because when you're being chased, you know where you're going to go. When he's chasing you, he has no idea. You can pick a safe spot and just wait because you know where he's coming from. All right. I hear these guys around here. I'm going to cycle down. Look around. Oh, pick this guy off right here. I think it's about time I move. They're probably starting to get wise to my position. Come to this another little good spot here. You can see what's coming through that doorway there. You can see into that other room. And uh, that's another great spot here. Because there is a spawn up on those uh, those barrels there. I hear somebody. I'm going to drop down. There he is. Take him out. Dead eyes kicked in. Give me that little bit of added kick. I'm going to cycle down and hang out in this building for a bit here. They're probably all looking for me up top now. So we'll uh, give them a little bit of surprise from down below. As you see, I'm staying in this area of the map that I marked out. Um, it's an area I can control, as I said. It's high traffic, so I can get my kills. And I'm constantly moving. You don't want to stay in the same place. I can't stress that enough. Do not stay in the same place because people, when you kill them enough, they get blinders on. And they start rushing in blindly and they're going to be pre-firing. Oh, look at this. That's a nice little pick off there. They're going to be pre-firing. And if you stay in the same place, they're just going to spray the crap out of wherever you are. So just keep moving and uh, keep them guessing. You know where they're going to be coming from. They have no idea where you are. They're hunting you. And uh, sometimes that's a good thing. Like I said, if you want to go for those super fast, high-risk chems, then 
you need to do a lot more hunting. But in this case, I'm trying to give you a tutorial, give you the easiest, best way. If you haven't gotten a chem strike and you're dying to get a chem strike, um, just follow these tips and they will work out for you. I am working on doing this for every single map. There are some maps that I just don't know. Octane, I hate that map with a passion. And uh, hopefully I can get a chem strike there. I haven't got one yet. Uh, it's, let's, it's my kryptonite. Octane is my kryptonite. But I should be able to get you uh, some tutorials for every other map. Where we at here at 21. I am running hardline, so I just need 24. So I have three more to go. Don't want to blow it, that's for sure. So I just cycle around downstairs, upstairs, into the back building. Keep them guessing. I, as I said, I can't stress that enough. On be unpredictable. Unpredictable is the key. Use your ears, use your eyes, know your spawns, know your environment. Um, know when you're being shot, where a safe spot to go to is, and uh, there we go. There's the chem strike. Let's call this in and end this game, folks. Uh, there we go. It was a little under a five-minute chem. So, like I said, not the fastest, but it was done with relative ease. And this should be it for the game, folks. Oh, wait. Did someone back out? The game didn't end. Yeah, oh, I only got I only got five kills with it, four kills with it. So uh, yeah, people backed out. Ah, gotta get one more. I do not like. I always want to try to end the game with a chem because I do not like what chem strikes do to the maps. The maps just get uh, harder to play, harder to see. But I managed to pick this guy off. There you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. If you liked what you saw, be sure to stay tuned for future episodes and definitely come over, check out my channel, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. Till next time, guys, be safe and have fun.